I fucked up. Uh, <laughs> uh, yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy X here. Today, we're doing that Digimon Adventures 2020 episode 53 react. Uh, well, not reaction, uh, review. But <laughs> really. Uh, <laughs> so, um, this week is just going to be a little different this week, sadly, because um, I did the live reaction. I did do the live reaction. I watched the episode, did the live reaction format. And when it came time to review the footage, there was no sound. There was no sound in the reaction part. There was no sound in my review portion. Um, it was just gone. And, you know, that was my fault. It was my fault because uh, I have my camera connected to my mic now, you know, because uh, I feel like the mic gives it a better sound than just my camera. So that's why I've been doing that. But if I do not plug in my damn mic, because I don't leave it plugged in, I always like unplug it after. But if I don't leave my mic plugged in, then it does not give sound to, through my camera. So uh, that's what happened. I accidentally forgot not to plug my mic in, stupid me. And that's what happened. That's the, you know, that's what happens when you, I, I don't want to say I was rushing, but uh, I was tired a little bit. I'd say I, I'd say that I was a tired a little bit just because you know I went to my family reunion. It was hot. I was, <laughs> I was drained. Uh, so I think yeah, I just I, it was my fault overall. But I was like, man, do I not even want to just throw a review out there or, or what? So that's why we're doing this review so I can at least you know give y'all my thoughts on the episode. Cause I actually thought this episode was uh better than the last episode you know with the last episode uh we got you know we got a phoenix mon or a whole mon whatever and i felt like it was like a strange time to give her a mega just because i don't feel like it was like a mega threat like going on granted like the volcano blowing up I'm like okay i guess you know people are about to die but yeah right here you know i was expecting i thought they were gonna like sneak in joe like uh Goemon's mega by the end of the episode but i'm glad they didn't because i don't they really didn't need it they really didn't need it you know uh the episode starts off like hey they're at the hot springs and there's no like fucking <laughs> the, all the shit's frozen and you know we find out that and i forgot what this fool's name is man it was a long ass the, the japanese name for him hold up the japanese name for him is so damn long for no reason like i think the english name honestly is like really short compared to um Compared compared to the damn Japanese because the Japanese I'm like what the hell is he, what how do you even pronounce that? Um, I'm, I'm probably just gonna say uh, his I'm gonna probably say his short or whatever Tono Samaki Tono Samako uh, uh, no Tono Sama Gecko Mon I'm just gonna say isn't it like Mega Gecko Mon I don't even remember regardless look um this one was a creeper the entire episode like. Um, don't get me wrong, like, he likes Goma, right, which is cool, I guess, but, but, I, I, like, I don't know, do Digimon have, just, I only say that because I was thinking this whole time Goemon is a boy, and I kind of go by, you know, voice and, uh, Digivolution, right, because, like, with Biomon, I'm like, okay, Biomon's a girl, Palmon, Palmon's a girl, like, you know, like that, right, and this fool is, like, licking everybody, like, blah, blah, blah. and he licks Goemon, he's like, oh my god, you're so soft, you will be my wife, and I'm like, wife? What? Wait, what are we talking about here? So I was a little confused with that, but he was a creeper throughout this episode. Um, it was it was just an overall very creepy episode, but it was funny as hell. Like that one scene where like he knocked them out of his castle, and then the fucking shutters start closing on him, and uh, go mom like, whoa, wait a minute, what's going on here? So yeah, very creepy stuff with him. There was one scene, and I really wish y'all saw my reaction, man, because uh, there was one scene after they got knocked, right? They got knocked, and he's like, oh, my God, he has Goemon captive, right? Uh, I swear, Kyrie and TK looked away for, like, maybe two seconds, right? They looked away. I think they looked at each other looked away for, like, two seconds. Then all of a sudden, fucking Joe is gone. And I'm like, where the fuck did Joe go? Did he run back? And sure enough, this man's over here track starring into the damn castle. I'm like, Jesus Christ, Joe is running fast as hell. But he gets knocked right back, which was hilarious. What the fuck? Uh, <laughs> when they're out there, they do see... Um, what was that, Numamon? Is it Numamon? 
or normal mon, whatever, the little ball people, <laughs> muscular guy, and a uh, blossom mon. I see them out there, they're frozen in the damn uh, snow or whatever, and you know, they free him or whatever, and Joel's all like, even though I felt like I was bullied, we all shared baths together, we all bathed together, and now we gotta work together to say it, go my mom. I'm like, whoa, okay, god damn, and like, sure enough, and I swear I forgot that fucking Ty was coming this episode, like he was heading toward Joe. Ty, and I forgot what the other Digimon name is, but they just appear out of fucking nowhere. And I'm like, holy shit, safety is back. Like, I'm like, Jesus, man, where the hell did they come from? But they come, and granted, I, I did see some of y'all's uh, comments last episode where y'all said it's the Ty show and shit like that. Uh... But I will be honest, their plan would not, I don't think their plan would have worked without Agumon. I might be wrong on that, but overall their plan was basically to make a fake hot springs outside. You know, they use Agumon to Greymon to Middle Greymon. I don't know why he had to digivolve that many times to heat up a fucking uh, fake ass pool, but okay, I guess. But they basically heat this shit up right because uh, apparently um, a Mega Gecko Mon, whatever, fucking two Trumpet Gecko Mon. Here. Um, he he doesn't like to be out of the water for a long time. He gets like cold and weak when he does. So when they like hear the commotion outside, he's all like, "Oh, I'm the only one that's supposed to have a hot spring." And then like he just hot. They make like a portable fucking hot spring for him just to go outside. And of course, like he hops into their hot spring, which was a fake one. They start throwing snow and shit in it. They're like, "Ha ha ha, got gotcha. you!" And of course, he tries to get Gomon again, uh, cause he breaks free a little bit from him for a, like, a split second. Gomon turns into Ikakumon, and then Ikakumon turns, uh, well, Ikakumon, he starts like, oh my god, like that picture with Ikakumon was hilarious, by the way, but, like, he's just like, oh my god, my perfect wife, ah, oh, Ikakumon, I'm like, what the hell is going on here? And he's, like, really forcing himself on Ikakumon, like, whoa, okay, and... This whole episode, I'm like, yo, just please, just turn ultimate, just end this, man, please. But, you know, of course, uh, they have to, like, take it slow. And then by the end, he does transform to his ultimate. And I will say, and this is kind of the problem I had with, because uh, I did mention it last episode with uh, fucking whole Ho Mon, Phoenix Mon's uh, mega evolution. Like, I understand Ty and Matt get special privileges as far as, you know, like with uh, War Grey Mon, Melgaru Mon, their, well, basically their whole Digivolution line where they get like this whole 3D, ooh, ooh, Digivolving 2, you know, all that shit, right? Um, and that's where I was like kind of upset with Ho Ho Mon because it was like lackluster. I forgot what happened. I think like two things happened, and then it was like I think like I don't know, fucking wings uh, popped out of a back or something. I don't even remember. But regardless, I feel like it was like so fast and like short. Like I was like okay, uh, but I, then you gotta remember when Ikakumon turns into his ultimate, it just looks fucking amazing for some reason. Like I, every time I see it, I'm like, yo, this is like great. So I feel like they could have made it look good, even if it's like in a simplistic way, right? But they didn't. That's why I kind of hated it last episode. But yeah, uh, it turns to his ultimate. They're adding more snow, of course. Uh, for some reason, Greymon decides to turn to his ultimate and use the damn shark missiles on his army. Boom, bam, boom. And then this fool um, electrocutes these fools in the damn water, and that's a wrap, you know. Um, Afterwards, they brought order back to the uh, hot springs. Everybody got a chance to get in the hot springs. And they were even nice enough to allow Mega Gecko Mon and his people to share the hot spring because, like Joe said, the hot springs are for everyone, right? Which was a nice. I was like, okay, I guess. I mean, he did try to uh, uh, damn near push himself on uh, <laughs> Gomamon, but I guess. Huh? So, uh, and now, and then uh, I do like the ending because, like, when they're all in the hot springs, the camera pans over to uh, Joe's clothes and his Digivice is on his clothes, and his Digivice, like, lights up. And I'm guessing that's kind of like a hint, like, hey, next time we see Joe, he gonna get his meal. Go on, gonna get that mega. Because I was like, okay, that's actually cool. And, you know, that's how the episode ended. So, like, overall, I did enjoy this episode a lot more than last week's. Uh, this was, like, a funny episode, right? Um, now, as far as the next episode, I'm very very curious and I want somebody in the comment section to let me know but um, is this Ogremon's line right here like is that Ogremon's like mega or whatever uh, because 
He kind of looks like Ogamar a little bit. I don't remember what his name was. I don't even think they showed his name in the preview, to be honest with you guys. Oh, they did. Rebel. Re uh, Rebel? Rebellimon? Rebellimon? Um, yeah, so is that Ogamon's Mega or Ultimate or something? He does look like Ogamon a lot. And that would be very interesting if... Because if I remember correctly, though, Metal Tyranimon, I don't, I don't remember if they showed... I don't remember if they showed Ogremon getting obliterated, right? What I mean, like, you know, disintegrating. But if I remember correctly, you know, Metal Tyranimon did defeat Ogremon and obliterate him. But like I said, I don't remember them showing us him getting disintegrated. So it would be very interesting if Ogremon actually survived, right? And then, like, whatever, boom, here we go. But I doubt that. So <laughs> I doubt that. Um, but then it, this might not even be an Ogremon's line. This might just be like a whole other Digimon that uh, he does look similar to Ogremon, though. Maybe it's just a color scheme. I don't know. But he does look really cool. And it seems like Ty and Greymon, Ty show once again. <laughs> Ty and Greymon, they're going head on with him or trying to save him. Something along those lines. But I will say maybe maybe because we do know Ty's like destination is kind of like on the fritz like which area to go to so maybe this is like his destination or like you know he's heading to it still and I'm very curious still where all these destinations are leading everybody you know um and I'm really surprised now that I'm thinking about it that we got uh Phoenix Mon Holmon's Mega right but like this episode we didn't and next episode it looks like it's not even gonna be uh anybody else like you know it's gonna be Ty which you, he already has everything right so that's interesting because I was thinking like how they were gonna do it was I thought it was gonna be like every episode somebody mega 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 but that's not the case so I'm actually very I, I don't know if I like that or I don't like that it's very interesting because you know back when I think they were doing the, uh, don't want to say the champion. Well, actually, I think the champions and the ultimates, like, you know, every episode, like, every next episode, somebody was going to get it. Like, you know, it's like, oh, hey, here's a champion, 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 champion. Then when it was time for ultimates, it was like, all right, you get an ultimate, you get an ultimate, you get an ultimate, you get an ultimate. But here, the makers look like it's going to be, like, kind of sporadic or whatever. So that's actually very interesting, especially with, I don't know how many episodes we have left. I think somebody said, like, there was an order of 66 or 60, 60 something right so uh but we don't know if that's gonna be the end or they're gonna continue so that's very interesting that uh that doesn't seem to be the case so yeah but that's pretty much it like i said i'm sorry that i did not uh <laughs> I, I i i'm sorry that i kind of rushed it and i wasn't recording so y'all don't get to see my reaction but i have to at least drop the review for you guys you know to give y'all something so my bad but that's all guys remember for more digimon adventure live reaction slash reviews make sure that the subscribe button down below if you're new to the channel hit the bell to get notified when i drop my video off of, uh, also follow me on instagram twitter my facebook game page and discord all of them in the description box below if you like the video, guys, like the video, comment down what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, guys, it's been your boy X, and I'm out. Deuces.